Our next sports cover is Hawks football, and again, while the scoreboards have not shown the success that the football players have hoped for, Hawk fans can see that our players have not phoned in the season and given up. The coaches have to be happy with the effort being given, which shows the true pride of our Hawk football team each time they take the field Friday night. The Hawks had a rough time at homecoming as they faced the number one recruit in the state of Texas, Sergio Kendall, who had another 100 plus yard rushing game. While this was disappointing to the Hawks, they had nothing to be ashamed of as Kendall has ran up over 100 yards against every opponent the Wildcats have faced this year. The Hawks were led by Rodney Cooper, who had 17 carries for 49 yards and one touchdown, as the Hawks fell by a final score of 55 to seven. The Hawks would then get a bye week before kicking off district against one of the preseason favorites from District 14-4A, the Lancaster Tigers. The Tigers entered the game with an impressive 4-1 record, and while the Hawks' defense would hold up the Tigers to only 88-yard passing, the ground game for the Tigers rolled up big yards and put the game away late after the Hawks had scored to bring up the score of 20-7 in the fourth quarter. The final score was Lancaster 27, our Hawks 7. The lone TD for the Hawks was a beautiful 35-yard run by Terrell Barnett, with a Ben Edwards point after added on. The Hawks had 109 yards passing as quarterback Troy Elliott was 9 for 20 with 109 yards on the night. Leading receivers for the Hawks were Aaron Moore with two catches for 40 yards, along with Carl Sherman with three catches for 40 yards. Evan Martinek added three catches for 23 yards, while Amanda Lopez had one catch for six yards. The defense was led by several big hits from Chris Williams, who imprinted his uniform number several times on the chest of Tiger runners. The Hawks would then return to Billy Goodlow Stadium to take on another district favorite, the Corsicana Tigers. The Tigers would be in for a fight early and led only 3-0 into the second quarter. After a few failures to convert short yardage plays for the Hawks, the Tigers would score on a 9-yard run and a 32-yard touchdown pass to stretch the halftime lead to 17-0. The Hawks offense would never get back on track, hitting several big plays only to be sacked for losses, closing down many nice drives. The Hawks had another good passing attack as they rolled up 149 yards in the air, while quarterback Troy Elliott would finish his night 20 of 34 for 132 yards. The loss dropped the Hawks to 0-7 and 0-2 in district play, with the final three games in district coming up after press time against Ennis at home, Maybank on the road, and a season-ending matchup with Athens at Goodlow Stadium. <laughs>